Hello, Uniondale. Welcome to the Uniondale Public Library's new series, Let's Take a Long Walk. Today, we will be visiting a site that many people may not be familiar with, and that's found at Uniondale Park. Many of us during the summers have enjoyed the free concert sponsored by Nassau County at this park or have seen the, the little kids practicing their baseball for the Uniondale All-Stars all on the great baseball field. But if you know that at the back end of the park, there's a piece of Uniondale history just waiting to be explored. So come along with me as we take a long walk. Okay, so what we're looking after here, at here, and that was a long walk, is the Gurner Family Farm Stand. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing the name, but this farm stand dates back many decades in the hamlet of Uniondale, going back to a time when most of Uniondale was potato fields, um, chickens, horses, and other farm farm creatures and and farms basically and this is one of those last vestiges of that time now the Gurner family was the last family to hold on to its family farm and the way that they did this was that Herman Gurner over the years he would sell off pieces of land bit by bit however by 1988 this was the last, the, um, he sold off his last track of land. And this is where the historic farm stand, Herman's farm stand begins. When he sold off the land, he put in the contract that the builders had to, they could not destroy this piece of history, but they had to find a suitable home for it. And over a course of many years, the farm stand still didn't have a permanent home. And it, the, the people of Uniondale, particularly the elderly people who remembered how important the farm stand was to them and their family, decided to take matters into their own hands. Led by Ernest and Marie Cantonese and also Terry Venasco, who were members of the Uniondale Historical Society, they began a campaign to save the farm stand. And these older people, I mean, these were not young people. They, they pounded the pavement. They knocked on doors to get signatures to find a permanent home for this place. And it all paid off. Because by the early 2000s, under the Avalon Bay Communities Incorporation, they were able to get to have the farm stand placed here at the tail end or the back end of Uniondale Park. So, and now as of 2012, it had become the Uniondale Children's Farm Museum. So I encourage you as you take a walk throughout Uniondale, especially these socially distanced walks, to come take a look at a piece of Uniondale history. And hopefully one day soon, this we'll be able to visit, they'll open these gates and we'll be able to see what's going on inside the farm stand. And children will be able to learn about the history of the community that they live in. So thanks for taking a long walk with us today. And if you have any suggestions of where we should walk to next, please leave it in the comments below. And please remember to subscribe or follow the Uniondale Public Library on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and also Twitter. And last but not least, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for your time, and thanks for taking a long walk with us.